And we are joined right now by both Stephen Matz and Jacob DeGrom. Good to see you guys. Yeah, good to see you, too. What's it, what's it like right out of the gate here to be a part of this staff that is getting such acclaim? I mean, do you read the stuff? Do you hear about it? What's that like? Um, yeah, we definitely hear about it. Uh, I don't think we read, it, read about it too much. Um, you know, I think our main goal is the same, to just go out there and keep our team in ball games. And, um, you know, we try to block out what's being said outside of, you know, the clubhouse and just try to come out here and get our work done. I thought it was pretty cool today watching everybody just over to the right here. Uh, Syndergaard, yourself, Steven, you as well, uh, Bartolo. Wheeler was on the slope throwing. You know, when you look down the way and see all of these guys, what, what's it like for you? I mean, you came up last year thrown into this amazing situation. Do you have to pinch yourself sometimes? Yeah, I mean, I feel pretty blessed to just be part of this this group of guys, you know, from a guy like Bartolo who's been in the major leagues for, you know, I don't even know how many years to, you know, Jake, Matt, and, you know, them just kind of break onto the scene and dominating right away. So to just kind of see those guys, you know, from the veterans to, to Jacob and Matt is pretty it's pretty awesome. So 216 innings for you, Jacob, last year, including including the postseason. That That's as far as you've ever gone. How does that manifest itself coming into this season and managing innings? Yeah, honestly, um, <clears throat> I didn't feel any different. Um, you know, I, I did throw a lot, but uh, this offseason I, I felt healthy and um, coming in the spring felt good. So, um, you know, they kind of backed us up a little bit in uh, starting games here. So I think that's uh, given us a little extra rest. That'll help. But, um, you know, I really didn't feel any different. What about injuries? Uh, that's something you dealt with last year, trying to stay on the field. I mean, that, that's such a huge part of this. What can you do to ensure that? Is there anything? Yeah, there's stuff you can do. There's preventative stuff that I try to do, you know, with the trainers in the weight room and stuff like that. But, you know, you can only do so much. Ultimately, the rest is out of your control. Evolution of your curveball. How important was Frank Viola when it comes to that? And what about Dan Worthen and his input along those lines? Yeah, honestly, the, the, the biggest time for me to learn my curveball was in double A with Glenn Abbott. He really helped me out a lot. Frank was more of my changeup. And, and then when I got to the big leagues, Dan um, helped me progress my curveball as well. And what about Dan and his impact on you, Jacob? Yeah, Dan, Dan's been really good for me. Um, <clears throat> he notices things I'm doing right away. Uh, you know, whether I'm striding too long or you're trying to overthrow it, flying open. And uh, there's been games, first inning. Uh, he'll tell me hey, it could be a good first inning, but he's like, hey, look, you know, you're you're flying open or something, you know, stay on top of the ball, shorten the stride, get back in line and just things like that. And in between starts, um, getting a good routine with him and and having him there to watch with my mechanics and try to keep me in line and stuff has really helped me. I'm not sure there are many better in baseball at getting by without your best stuff. You have a you have a great penchant for battling through when you don't have your best stuff. What is it about your makeup that allows you to do that? Um, you know, those days are the ones where you really have to concentrate. And I think that some sometimes when you don't have your best stuff is when you pitch the best because you got to concentrate so much. You know, days that you go out there with, with your best stuff, sometimes you get a little overconfident and think, hey, you know, I was warm enough. I was really good in the bullpen. Uh, it's going to be easy today. And then that's whenever, you know, there's a little reality check there and you get, <laughs> you know, you get humbled a little bit. But I think those those days, whenever you don't have your best stuff, you really got to prepare and battle and, and pay attention to what's going on. And, and uh, you know, you just got to dig deep and, and try to try to make it five and keep your team in that game. What about expectations? You know, they were they're so raised this year. Do you like that? Do you like being a part of a National League championship team that, that so much is expected of? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, it's going to bring great atmosphere. The fans are going to be really into it like they, you know, like they were at the, in the postseason and stuff. So I think it's fun for us to play in, in, excite, in an exciting atmosphere. We'll finish on this one, Jacob. Uh, what, what did the postseason experience mean to you last year? I mean, a lot. Uh, you know, there's guys who play this game for a long time and don't get to make it to the World Series. So in the second year to get that experience and then to come into this spring training with a really good team. And, you know, that, like we said last year, that was our goal to make it to the World Series and win it. We fell a little short of the winning it part. But, you know, I think that experience is, is you know, it's, you can't get that anywhere else. Yep. So I think getting that in my second year and, and with our goal this year to get back there and, and, and you know, now that we have that experience, we kind of know what to expect and, and everybody's really looking forward to it. Great to spend a few minutes with you guys. Have a, have a great 2016 season. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. It is Jacob DeGrom, Stephen Matt.